a major development, over 122 nations have called for an investigation into the COVID-19 origins and for an impartial, independent and comprehensive evaluation to review experience gained and lessons learned from the WHO-coordinated international health response to COVID-19. Of these 122 nations, Australia, the European Union nations, Russia, the African bloc and India stand out. India was one of the first 62 countries to sign the document as New Delhi has finally taken a firm stand against China and on WHO's incoherent and obnoxiously pro-Beijing response to the coronavirus pandemic. This sudden decision comes at the backdrop of a sudden surge in violence by Chinese troops towards the Indian side at the Sikkim and eastern Ladakh borders. The seven-page document doesn't only call for an impartial probe into WHO's response, but also targets China by stressing on investigating the origins of the virus, clearly casting suspicion on China's Wuhan Virology Lab. This is bound to rattle China, as the truth is really something that China is not a big fan of. The document calls upon the WHO Director General to work with the World Organization for Animal Health to conduct scientific and collaborative field missions and identify the zoonotic source of the virus and the route of introduction to the human population, including the possible role of intermediate hosts. This is the first step towards the international community's demand for investigating the Wuhan lab from where the coronavirus outbreak is suspected to have originated and taken the grip of the entire world. By signing the draft resolution, it is the first time that the Modi government has taken a clear stance on the COVID-19 pandemic, which is believed to have originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And this is likely to irk the WHO as well as Beijing which has been enjoying undue generosity from the Intergovernmental Organization and its Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom. Until now, New Delhi was more or less silent about the WHO's failures or its attempt to shield China, which literally created the ongoing pandemic and later covered up its severity. The only time India dropped some hints was when Prime Minister Modi backed WHO reforms during the G20 summit in March and also spoke about the need for transparency and accountability. As far as China's role and WHO's complicity is concerned, New Delhi was never as vocal as, say, Australia or the United States or some European countries. President Trump has been raining hard on China-centric WHO and even cut WHO's funding. But the only time when an Indian leader hinted foul play was when Nitin Gadkari, Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways said, this is unexpected because this is a virus from the laboratory. This is not a natural virus. India kept its cards close to its chest, which led the dragon to believe that it could scare off New Delhi from calling out the nexus between WHO and China. But when the real moment arrived, India delivered, and this is a body blow for both the WHO and Beijing. Out of all countries, it is India's stand that is likely to hurt WHO and China the most, as it is really a bolt from the blue for the Geneva-based organization as well as China.